everybody, it's Roy here from our local 12 and EpicDroid.com with a super quick video showing you guys how to unlock the bootloader on your Google Pixel 10 Pro. It's a super easy process and you just need a couple of things for it. The first thing you need is a Pixel 10 Pro. This process will work on a Pixel 10, a Pixel 10 Pro, Pixel 10 Pro XL, and even the Pixel 10 Pro Fold. In theory, it should work on any Pixel device as well as most other Android devices, but for today's video, I'm just going to show you guys on the Pixel 10 Pro. Another thing you're going to need is you're going to need a computer. My computer here is a Windows 11 PC. You can do this on Linux and Mac. However, I'm not an expert on those platforms, so I'm not going to be showing you guys how to do that here today, but there are plenty of ways that you can do that with those devices. You will need to have ADB and Fastboot access on your system. I'll have a link in the video description down below where you can get that set up with Google's help. And last but not least, you're going to need a USB-C cable that you can plug into your phone as well as to your computer. So before we go down this process too far, there are two quick words of caution. The first is, is that unlocking your bootloader will wipe your device. So if you have anything important on your device, make sure you have it backed up beforehand. So the second caveat, and this one is subject to change, is that unlocking your bootloader may prevent some of the AI functionality that Google has released. It may prevent some of that from working properly, or it may prevent it from working at all. I have had some luck re-enabling some of those options on previous devices using different root tools through Magisk. However, your mileage may vary and it may not always be successful. I'm not someone who uses a lot of the different AI functionality that they've been rolling out, so it's not something that I feel the loss of too keenly, but it's something that may affect you. So if you guys are okay with those two caveats, if you're okay with having your device wiped, and if you're okay with some of that AI functionality not working 100%, let's move on to the next step. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go on your phone, you're going to go into settings, in settings you're going to scroll all the way down to about phone, in about phone you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom of that, and you're going to tap on your build number seven times. It's going to say congratulations, you're now a developer, we're going to go back, and we're going to go to your system, in system you're going to scroll down to developer options, in developer options, you're going to scroll down a little bit further and you're going to check the OEM unlocking option and you're going to hit enable. So just a quick side note, this option may not be available if you bought your device from a carrier like Verizon or T-Mobile. You will have to work with them to get this option enabled. So then scroll down just a little bit further, we're going to look for USB debugging. We're going to check that option, we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to set down our phone for just two seconds and we're going to go to our computer. We're going to hit the run option, so the Windows key and the letter R. And we're going to type CMD to open up a command prompt. Once you're in the command prompt, you're going to navigate to the folder where you have your platform tools or ADB tools located. Once you're there, you're going to pull out your USB cable. You're going to plug it into your phone. And then we're going to check to make sure it's actually connected to the device. So to do that, we're going to come over here to the computer again. And we're going to type out ADB devices and hit enter. You should see a prompt pop up on your phone that says, do you want to allow USB debugging from this device? I'm going to say always allow from this computer and hit allow. Now, if you look back at your computer, I was a little bit too slow and I didn't hit it fast enough. So it does say it's unauthorized, but we're just going to type that command out again. We're going to hit enter and you'll see it now shows that it's attached and it doesn't have that unauthorized message. And then we're going to type out ADB reboot boot loader. Now if you'll notice here, I did fat finger it and I accidentally typed ADB reboot right before I hit ADB reboot bootloader. So just make sure you type the full command and then hit enter. Your phone will reboot and it's going to boot into fast boot mode. Now if you look here, you can zoom in right there and you'll see that it says that the device state is locked but it is unlockable. So we are going to unlock that here in just a second. But before we do that, we're going to actually make sure that we do have fastboot access. So we're going to do the same thing we did a second ago. We're going to type fastboot devices and hit enter. And it automatically popped it up. We can see here that it shows my devices as fastboot means we are ready to go. So now we're actually going to run the command that will unlock the bootloader. We're going to type fastboot flashing unlock. Once we've done that, we're going to hit enter. And it's going to pop up a message here. If you look at the message, it says, if you unlock the bootloader, you'll be able to install custom operating system software on this device. A custom OS is not subject to the same level of testing as the original OS and can cause your device and installed applications to stop working properly. Software integrity cannot be guaranteed with a custom OS, so any data stored on the device with the bootloader is unlocked, while the bootloader is unlocked may be at risk. To prevent unauthorized access to your personal data, unlocking the bootloader will also delete all personal data on your device. So this is the last chance you have to back out. If you don't want to wipe all the data, you're just going to hit your power button right now and it's going to say do not unlock the bootloader. If you were okay wiping all your data, you're going to hit your volume down or your volume up button and it's going to highlight unlock the bootloader and you'll hit the power button. Once you've hit that power button, 
you'll now see it says device state unlocked. So once you've verified that your device state is unlocked, you can use your power button here. It says start. And if it says start, you can just hit the power button again. It's going to restart the device. It's going to start doing the factory reset. Now, a quick note, you will see this message from now on whenever you restart your phone. It says the bootloader is unlocked and software integrity cannot be guaranteed. Any data stored on the device may be available to other people, blah, blah, blah. So now your device has been wiped, your bootloader is unlocked, and you're ready to go on to the next step. At this point, you can root your device, you can do all sorts of other fun things with it. The sky's the limit, and you can do what you want. If you guys have any questions about the process, if you have any questions about the Pixel 10 Pro, or about any of the things you've seen here in this video, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below and reply as soon as we're available. If you've enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more like it, please remember to give us a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. And as always, just want to tell you guys thank you for watching, thank you for all your support, and you all have an awesome day.